our stocking stuffers bundle. Many of you loved our mail drop bundle, which had an interactive mechanism in the die that allowed you to lift up messages from the little envelope. Well, we thought that was also a really fun idea for these cute stockings. Not only can you color all the things with your favorite medium, but you can surprise your recipients with hidden messages. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'm going to show you an example so you know what I'm creating. So here's the cute stocking. It's all colored and decorated. And when you pull out the top, you have a hidden message in your stocking. We just think that is so fun. So I'm going to actually show you how to do that part. The first thing I want to show you, though, is in the stamp set, you've got a striped stocking and this plain stocking. But there's also a couple of other little elements in the stamp set, these little stitched pieces so that you can create a stocking with patches. So you're gonna stamp down your plain stocking. You'll take the curved piece for the toe, this little straight piece you stamp twice for the ankle, or the heel, that's not your ankle, that's a heel. And then this piece goes across the top for the cuff. Okay, so you can either have a plain stocking, this one, or your striped. Okay, now let me show you how to do the mechanism. What you're gonna do is take your card, and a stocking and decide where you want the stocking on your card, okay? Then you'll take this little die that comes in the set. It's right here. This is the straight piece that's going to allow the message to come in and out of the card. So you want it a little bit below the top of the stocking, not too far down or your message won't come out far enough, but you want it far enough down that it's hidden behind the stocking. So you'll just decide where you want that and then run this through your die cut machine so that you get your card that has your opening. Okay, then what you'll do is take this piece in the die set, which is this right here. This is going to be the piece that slides up and down. Okay, so I've taken this, I've stamped the cute ho 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 from the stamp set. And what you'll do is you'll go from behind and slide that in and see these little, it's got um, little pieces that stick out the side longer than the slot that, that prevents it from coming all the way out. So that's what's going to slide. That's it. That's all it takes. And then you're going to put your stocking back over the top and then you can slide that in and out. Okay, it's super easy to do, but such a fun surprise. So let me show you some other pieces in the die set because there is a lot going on. Okay, you do have this big stocking that I mentioned die cuts, the striped or the plain stocking. You also have these little bundles, okay? So you have got a bundle of poinsettias. I guess it's one poinsettia. Then you also have this bundle of candy canes and fun sprigs. And you also have this bundle of presents and sprigs. So these die cut, these stamped images that go on the top, that that's what you pull in and out of the stocking. Okay, so those, that's those. Um, you can also build your stocking out of cardstock. So you've got your plain die cut. Then you also have the cuff at the top, okay? You also have your little um, toe corners and heel corners that make these. We also included this row so that you could um, make them little buttons on the stocking. Okay, so you've got buttons. This also doubles, this piece here doubles as berries. And I'll show you that in just a minute. But you, okay, so then when you add all of these together, then you get this cute stocking with the toe, the heel, and the cuff at the top, and then your cute little buttons. So make that out of all different colors of cardstock that you want to. Now, another thing to note that a couple of these little sentiments in the stamp set fit on the cuff. Okay, so you'll stamp Holly Jolly or Very Merry right on the cuff of your stocking. Then you also have with this piece, I mentioned you've got hidden messages. You've got some sentiments in here that fit right in here. So you've got, you're on my nice list, sending you some holiday cheer, and you've got the ho, ho, ho. Now, let's talk more about embellishing the stocking. Okay, so you've got this piece here, which says joy. 
You have this cute snowflake that you can use that fits really cute on the front of the stocking as well. You've got these cute little sprigs that you can use. Okay, that die cut these that you could have come out the top of your stocking. We also included these little holly pieces. And again, I mentioned that this doubles. So if you die cut these out of green and then use those berries, then you've got some holly berry that you can put like on the stocking or on the cuff. Very cute. Okay, and then we also created this little tag. Now this tag, um, which is, where is it? In the, right over here, in the die. So you've got this cute, tiny little tag, and it has a dual purpose, okay? So die cuts that little tag. You can stamp Noel on there. There's a little one that says, to you, you can stamp. But also in the stamp set, there's this little image right here that says pull here. Okay, this is not only a tag, but it can double as your device or your little message on your card right here that tells your recipient to pull it out so they know what to look for. Okay, we created this cute little bow to go with the tag. And um, then you also might wonder, why did they put a little fish in the stocking stamp set? That is not what that is. This is actually a little stocking hanger. Okay, so when you die cut that out, let me move these other pieces, you can actually put it behind like that to look like the little hanger that's gonna hang the stocking. Okay, so it's not a little fish, it's just a little hook. Okay, now what is also cool is we do have some other dies in our release this month, like our so Merry dies that have this cute candy cane in it that you could like put a giant candy cane coming out the top. So mix and match your dies, but this is what this die set does, which is a lot. Okay, so let me show you some fun projects that we made and I'm just gonna slide all of this out of the way so that we can go over the projects. Okay, I mentioned this one, I've shown you this one. We die cut this out out of the little cuffs and stamped it, stamped our little, um, the little bundle with the candy canes, added our pull hair tag with the cute message, sending you some holiday cheer. And this is just backed with our woven stripes background stamp. Here's another one where it's simplified. We didn't color it, we just stamped the stripes and the plain stocking with the cute snowflake on it. See, there's a snowflake in the stamp set and then added our sentiment with the little bow. So it can be super simple, or you can step it up. Here's one where we've done lots of decorating. So we've got the cuffs on the stocking, we have the little hangers, added a snowflake, it says sending joy, we've got the holly sprig, and these cute little sprigs with the tag and the little bow. These berries and the bow are done with our foil paper, this is just adorable. And three stockings fit really nicely across the card this direction. The background of this is our Stripes and Sane stamp set as well. Okay, here's another one where we fit three and we've got two bundles with two messages. So you pull here, it says ho, ho, ho. You pull here and it says you're on my nice list. So we just think that that is so much fun to be able to add those little stuffers at the top and be able to interact with your cards. Okay, here's one. We've actually done some home decor. So you just, we did all of these cute stockings, stamped them with our woven plaid background stamp in different colors, added the Let's Be Jolly on top, and that would just be adorable sitting on your mantle or on your entryway table to decorate for the holidays. Here's another idea too. It, I mean, be sure and do it for your gift packaging as well. So we've got this cute little pillow box. Okay, you also have the hidden message that comes out, says Holly Jolly. We've got the cute foil papers. We've also added in a little initial because this says to Rachel. We've added a cute little gold foil initial. And this one is from our double cut alphabet dies which is a perfect size for this cute little stocking. And the background is our woven plaid background stamp. 
Okay, there is so much going on with this, but it is so much fun. How many paper stockings will you be stuffing and coloring? You know, a cute friend did suggest making tags with the names as the hidden message. So you could actually pull this out and they'd have to look for their name to discover who they are. What a great idea. Be sure to show us what you create by hashtagging Concord Night.